Ryan, Jack, and I are headed out to the Bolivar Peninsula today. We're going to go check this place out. Supposedly good shelling and good sea glass hunting. We've never been out there before. We understand there's not a ton out there, but there's good beach combing. And Jack is, Jackson, is very excited. Just arrived at High Island and there's a lot more stuff on the beach here. So we're gonna check this out. We had good recommendations to find shark teeth and glass and shells here. So we're gonna get to it. through this little upper rack line here and I just noticed this piece right here. Big cool chunky piece. Looks like there's a piece here as well. Coming to you from High Island today. This is really awesome. There is so much more on the beach here as far as racks and shells and all my favorite things. Um, there's a bird sanctuary farther up the beach up there. We're gonna go see if there's anything to see up there. I thought all this black was rock, but it's actually squishy. Weird. The tide is rolling back right now and exposing whatever all this stuff is. I don't know what, what this stuff is, this squishy stuff, but there's a bunch of shells that are kind of caught in between, so it's kind of fun to see what's going to be exposed as the tide goes out. Wow, look at that beautiful shell. Nice. Oh, look how pretty this one is. It's so pretty. So I just stopped to put my hair up and I looked down to my left. Look at this moon snail. Oh my gosh. Please be empty. Nobody home. That is incredible.
just finishing up shelling here at High Island. We're going to move farther down the Bolivar Peninsula. This was incredible shelling, probably some of the most fun I've had shelling. It, it, it's low tide, that's key here. If you come here, you got to come at low tide. Uh, there's so many shells just took, tucked in the nooks and crannies. And um, I'm excited to see what the rest of the peninsula has. It's super mucky. This mud oil, I don't know what it is. It is just all over my boots, but uh, this was super fun. I found a ton of things. Let me just show you really quick. Here's the haul today. This is incredible. And I have all of these in this shell bag too. I will take them back and clean them and see which ones we're gonna keep. This is a great chunky piece. Driving on the beach, so freaky. We've never done it before, it's so, so fun. Here is the huge haul from day two of shelling near Galveston. This We went out on the Bolivar Peninsula and that's where all of these really big shells reside. Um, I found so many of these. As you could see in the video, these were so fun to, to unearth <laughs> in all the mud and you know most of them were out in the water and they were a little bit harder to to get at so it was a little it was rewarding to pick those up so these are called rock shells um, I I think they're all the same kind um, just different different stages different colors but I believe they're all the rock shell or the rock snail um, that's the only information I could find I've never found these types of shells before and then I just wanted to <laughs> Look at the size of the, the oysters. I mean, these things are just massive and they're all over out there. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't believe the size of these oyster shells. I'm assuming they're, they're some type of oyster. Um, again, tons of beautiful moon snails. And this guy just about knocked my socks off. And I, it, it is in the video, as you saw when I found this one. It's amazing. Found lots of lots of beach, you know, lots of sea glass. Some of it not as frosted, but these pieces up here are, you know, really nicely frosted. This is a big chunky white piece and some cobalt here and a little beautiful piece of turquoise glass. So this was such a fun day. Oh, and then there's this. I saw this, I found this in the parking lot on my way out of the truck, and I thought it was a shark's tooth. And I'm just not sure. I, I think it might be a piece of broken shell that is shaped like a shark's tooth. But, but I don't know. I like to tell myself it's a shark's tooth, but my husband thinks it is, but I now I don't think it is. I think it's part of a broken shell. So if you have any, any thoughts on that, let me know. Never found one. Probably never will.